Hi, I'm Bailey, and this is the chemistry of the Hydro Flask. I'm going to start with the chemistry of stainless steel. So the chemistry of stainless steel is really quite simple. Uh, it is the polymer for steel, which I'm drawing right now, with added chromium, 13% by weight to be exact. Uh, the added chromium creates a passivation layer, and this passivation layer is what keeps food and beverages from contaminating each other's flavor once in the Hydro Flask. Uh, steel is made up of simple elements, nitrogen, carbon, and hydrogen, N being nitrogen, C being carbon, and H being hydrogen in this uh, specific polymer model. Uh, the way that these form together is what creates the durability of steel. Um, as seen, this polymer repeats itself as many times as necessary to create enough steel for the product desired. Uh, steel can be created in labs and generally is. So to put it simple, steel is a mixture of organic compounds uh, that once bonded correctly have a durable metal that is used in everyday necessities. So the formula for the passivation layer is CR2. O3, and then the CR is the chromium that's being added, and as I stated earlier, it's about 13% by weight. And finally, I'm going to do the chemistry of rubber. So the chemistry of rubber derives from the latex polymer, in which I'm drawing right now. Uh, latex is in relation to rubber about the same way as steel is to stainless steel. So it's just a few added organic compounds to latex, and it becomes rubber. Uh, latex, the main compound in rubber, is obtained by making slits into rubber trees and adding water and some other organic compounds to it. Uh, it then creates a somewhat moldable liquid that will then solidify at room temperature, also known as rubber. Rubber is mainly made with two simple elements, hydrogen and carbon. Uh, the two elements are combined into different compounds and then bonded to another compound or element in the making of the latex polymer. Much like the steel polymer, the latex polymer repeats itself until the desirable amount is reached. The closer the repeating segments are to each other, the more durable the latex becomes, making the rubber uh, harder, I guess, in a way. So the compounds in latex polymer are CH2, also known as methylene, uh, HC, uh, this is identified as hydrocarbon, uh, CH3, which is a methyl group, and H2C, or ethylene. Uh, and then finally, there's the element carbon. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn the chemistry of anything else, just go to chemistryislife.com.